So in this video, we're going to run through a quick comparison of Rocket Reach and Leadloft and discuss which one's best for your team and which one has better data. Let's dive into it. So this is Rocket Reach. It's one of the old school you know, B2B databases for prospecting. I know a lot of recruiters use it as well. It is good for phone numbers, it has personal email addresses, which I personally don't recommend reaching out to, but it's a massive database. Uh, on top of that, they do have a Chrome extension. And with that Chrome extension, you can hop into LinkedIn or LinkedIn Sales Navigator and save prospects from those searches, right? Uh, the one thing though, if, is if we're gonna test it, and I'm being honest, uh, I tested a couple contacts here and immediately I saw an issue, which was I saved Eli here. And I noticed I'm searching and the filters are actually for this as well. I'm searching for and filtering for these companies that are appearing here. So I'm trying to save Eli's email for meet visitors. And unfortunately it saved an email for deal hub. And if I click Eli here and I open it up, you can see he hasn't worked at deal hub for actually around a year. So it's, it's pulling up old or outdated data. So if you're using rocket reach, I'd be careful with that. And this is actually very similar to the experience I had with Rocket Reach when I uh, previously tried to use it. Um, the nice thing with Leadloft's Chrome extension, which is down here at the bottom, you can see you can select the segment. Um, you can also select like a playbook if you want to start engaging them immediately. But if you click save, we're saving the contact info, info for meet visitors, uh, hollow step, and we're creating leads based off of that. So if I go back into Leadloft here and just refresh the dashboard, you'll see meet visitors and hollow step. Uh, and that's kind of how it operates. And if we can find a, a phone number in a moment here, we'll also add the phone number there. But that's essentially how Leadloft works. It pulls for the prospects that are directly here. So those are kind of the prospecting solutions. I think when it comes down to it, Leadloft only has LinkedIn and Rocket Reach has their massive database. But the database within Rocket Reach is relatively outdated. So it's something to be aware of if you are using Rocket Reach. Uh, the next thing is outreach capabilities. This is a fairly new feature within Rocket Reach. We can go down here to, I think it's called, is it autopilot? I think it's the autopilot feature. It might ask me to upgrade. Yeah, so there we go. The daily email limit is five. So it will run automated email outreach on your behalf if you do want to upgrade. I will say it's probably not the most sophisticated outreach tool. There's tools that are specifically de designed for this, like Leadloft, but Leadloft does take it you know, a couple steps further. The first thing I'll say is we throttle email outreach. So if we're running email outreach, we'll, uh, Input random delays to make it feel more human. And this increases deliverability. Uh, it fools you know, spam filters and makes it seem like a human sending it. And it increases the chances that you're going to land in the primary inbox. Um, on top of that, you can also include calling tasks um, as well as LinkedIn steps here. So you can send automated connection requests on LinkedIn, automated messages, of course, automated emails or manual emails. And we even have uh, things like Bounce Shield to verify even unverifiable emails. You can verify 100% emails using Bounce Shield, and it does cost a little bit more based on usage. When it comes to outreach, I would not use Rocket Reach. I would use a different tool for sure. Uh, Leadloft is just clearly superior when it comes to outreach between these two tools. But on the prospecting side, I think the thing that it comes down to in Rocket Reach is they do have a nice database of phone numbers, right? And, and that's probably the main use here. Leadloft also finds phone numbers. So if you're searching, it works probably somewhat similarly. We probably have similar data providers, to be completely honest with you. And just like with them, we deliver direct dials, which means a direct cell phone number is you're calling the phone in the first in your prospect's pocket, not some random landline or office number. And the last thing here is I want to break down what the tools are actually used for. Rocket Reach just does prospecting. They have their database, they have their Chrome extension, and that's really it. They do have their new, you know, email automation feature, but it looks very bare bones, very, very simple. Leadloft, on the other hand, does really powerful multi-channel outreach across email, across LinkedIn, across calling. And on top of that, you can also track deals. So if you want, it can work like a CRM. And this means there's no integrations. It's really easy to set up. Put your entire team in here. And now they all are connected across prospecting tools, outreach tools, and your CRM. That can be 10, 20, 30 integrations that you no longer have to manage. So that's a really powerful aspect. On top of that is Leadloft has a really powerful inbox that syncs across email and across LinkedIn. If I look at Rocket Reach here, it looks like they do have an inbox or a messages, but it's just going to be emails here. So you can see, you know, sent. So really bare bones uh, reporting features here. And I would imagine they can personalize here. And just as you'd expect in Leadloft, you can also personalize as well. I first name, company, et cetera, et cetera. So that's a quick comparison of Rocket Reach and Leadloft. Hopefully you find it helpful. Personally, I think Leadloft actually blows Rocket Reach away. When it comes down to it, Rocket Reach, I think, was once a really powerful tool, you know, kind of a 
a market maker to some degree, but nowadays there's more powerful tools like Leadloft, this automated outreach across email, across LinkedIn, includes the prospecting, includes the CRM. A rocket reach is just prospecting with data that's a little bit out of date. If you guys have any questions or want more reviews, just let me know in the comments down below.